I've heard of sandpaper, but this is like rock paper. Like, <laughs> yeah. What would you even use this for? What's the grit say on the back? It says 40. Okay, 40 grit. 40 grit is, I, when I talk about sandpaper or I use sandpaper, I think of it as a tool. Okay, this is a machine. Okay, you gotta choose the right machine to move the tool. Follow me? Yep. Okay, so this is the tool. This is 40 grit grain. And what this is used for is, it all depends on what you're sanding. So what are you thinking of sanding? Uh, I don't know, probably some decking. Okay, so guess what? Do you want to sand that deck? This is the things you got to ask yourself. Do you want to sand that deck all day? No. Do you like to sand? No. Okay, neither do <laughs> I. And now I know you're not lying because you told me the truth. I don't know too many people that like sanding. So to get through sanding, grit is a time value. Okay? okay. Hear me out on this. You want to probably descale that before that decking before you, uh, or you could power wash it and then take it down. With take this combined with this sander, you can just take it right down. Oh wow! And put your stain or uh, sealer on that day. But you got to remember this: if you start with 80, you're going to take a couple of days to do that. But if you start with 40, then what you do after that is you put 60 on. Okay. And you go over it again. Okay, you feel, you know, I usually use my feet on the decking to see how uh, it feels on my foot. And then I would probably finish up with 80. Okay. In other words, when you use the 40, that's going to take it off really quick. And then the only thing you're doing with the 60 is removing the 40 grit scratch pattern. It goes wicked quick. Oh, wow. And then the 60 grit scratch pattern is what you're left with. Then you remove the scratch pattern with the 80. Cool? A little yeah. bit of, always remember this, grit's time value. So I, I know some people used to use 80 to remove uh, what I just said with the decking, and boy, they would take forever. Wow. So time is, time is a value to me, and I sure. know you as well. We want to spend more time with our family, so I always will start with the lowest possible grit. Now, I won't do this. See, this is 40 grit, okay? This is, say I'm sanding this, okay? This is veneered plywood. Okay. Okay. Feel that's pretty smooth, isn't it? Right. Okay. Yeah. That's most most plywood is surface sanded at 120, and then sold to you. Okay. okay. Now, if we can get in here and look at this, see this top veneer? I swear to God, that veneer gets thinner every <laughs> single day. I am not going to sand that with 40 grit. What are you trying to accomplish? That's what you always have to ask yourself. So okay. with cabinetry, you're probably just trying to remove all your witness marks, maybe a couple of dings here and there. Sure. Um, so what you want to do with it, you probably start at 120, then move on to 150. Oh, okay. Okay, now, I want you, afterwards, and we're gonna get into this, okay? I normally stop at 150, because I don't want to lose absorption or the claw of my, when I spray, when we, we're gonna spray lacquer on our cabinetry. Okay. Okay, we don't want to lose claw. Okay, adhesion. Oh, Follow? Okay. So, I sand cabinetry or veneered plywood tops 180. I, you, you should never go above 180 on raw wood because you lose the two things, absorption, okay, and you lose adhesion. Gotcha. Okay, so there's a lot to sandpaper. People just wanna get it done really quick, but if you, it's not about taking your time, it's about choosing the right grit to save you time. All right. And by the way, I don't like the sand either. <laughs>